Six months ago today, the steady eruption cycle at Kilauea volcano changed when this incredible fissure tore open the ground in the Middle East rift zone. So we sent out this uh, geologist in this helicopter, and he overflew Pu'u'o'o, and noticed that, yeah, the crater floor is gone, but he didn't notice anything else in his first pass. And then he was over Pu'u'o'o, and he and the pilot looked over their shoulders, a little bit uprift, and they saw a fissure eruption that had just started. So what did they do? Like any good geologist, he landed, and he took a video. Check this out. This is what he saw. Keep your eye on this area here. It's starting to steam, and on this area here. The cracks are getting bigger. You'll see chunks fall in. And you'll see now it's starting to spatter right there. More and more gas coming out. A real big chunk is about to fall in right here. Yep, you can see lava right there. There's the, here's the, here goes the big chunk. There's, there's the spatter there. There it goes. And it's time to... It looked like the end of the world, but in actual fact, it's just your average night in Hawaii, where for the second time in a week, lava is cutting across the chain of craters road. Now this lava is flowing at 1,050 degrees Celsius, and even in this suit, I can only stand here for about 30 seconds, and that 30 seconds is up about now.